time for your lunch break. Produce man Michael Marks is here with your deal on produce for that special Valentine's Day meal. Hmm, I'm all ears. <laughs> well, there's a big day tomorrow, Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd walk down the produce aisle looking for love in the, for Valentine's Day in the produce aisle. Let's take a look at a couple of things. First of all, if I was Jack Benny, uh, you know, a little cheap, uh, I would go down and I'd buy some uh, broccoli. Yes, this is actually thousands of little tiny flowers up here. This literally is a bouquet of flowers. So Jack Benny, this is probably what Jack Benny got, got for his wife. Uh, this actually, artichoke is actually a flower. It's not a fruit, not a vegetable. It's actually a flower. It's the flowering bud of a Mediterranean thistle plant. Uh, let's move on. If you love grapefruit, here's what I want you to do. Uh, and uh, your valentine loves grapefruit. Always give your valentine the blossom end of the grapefruit, because you always cut the grapefruit in half, right? Right around the equator. The blossom end of the grapefruit will always, always be the sweetest half of the grapefruit. So if you're splitting it with your valentine, make sure they get the top half. Oh my goodness, here we go. Palm d'Amour. The apple of love. That's what they used to call the tomato, the apple of love. They actually uh, thought that you would go crazy with love if you ate tomatoes uh, like that. Speaking of palm, speaking of apples, how about a red delicious apple? You plan on proposing on Valentine's Day? Try grabbing a red delicious apple. Uh, in the movie Aladdin, yeah, the original cartoon movie, Aladdin picked up a red apple two times and tossed it over to Princess Jasmine. In that part of the world during that time of history, that was actually a marriage proposal. And that's how I proposed to my beautiful and lovely wife, Julie. Although she was smart enough to say, hey, I hope you toss me a diamond ring as well. Finally, we get down to strawberry. Strawberry, the official fruit of Valentine's Day because it's the only one shaped, that's right, like a heart. And it's beautiful red. And they do make beautiful strawberry, uh, chocolate covered strawberries. So uh, that's the perfect Valentine's uh, produce item right there. Hey, back to you guys.